Would have went in the gear. It would have been good. Um. I'm loving. I'm tipsy because I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own. I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. So here today to do something that i've been wanting to do for a while and that is do a build on one of the cars from the specialty dealer we just got some new ones in they're here for i believe six more days so we're going to check out what we got in the specialty dealer and we're going to do a drift build on it show you guys all the settings and such but before we get into that i want to you know talk about two comments that i got recently on some prior videos first one from antonio esposito saying can you post your wheel settings and then another one from david hill saying Hi mate, can you do a video on the settings you use? So before we get into this specialty dealer drift build, we are going to go take a look at my wheel settings and tell you guys, explain why I use the settings that I use. So we do have layout number three with clutch with the handbrake on R2 because we do have our handbrake wired on R2, vibration on, and that's basically standard. Now into the nitty gritty of it. We have uh, steering dead zone, at zero we are at 95 on the outside 15 and 100 all this is pretty much basically uh stock i haven't changed any of this i say stock but default where it's where i start getting the change is right down here i turn vibration scale off because um i found when on the wheel the vibration scale kind of chatters it a lot and you still get the force feedback when you're off in grass and it still jerks around so you don't really need the vibration per se um, force feedback scale is at 100%. My rotation is 900. Now I am thinking about putting it down to 870 for a reason of when throwing the wheel back and forth, when it goes to full lock, it has that hard click when it hits the bottom or hits full lock. Now the reason I'm thinking about putting it on 870 is it'll give it that little bit of a buffer. So when you go full lock, it has that little bit of tension before it actually hits the physical stop of the wheel. An 870 rotation is actually not far off of 900, so it's it's not really going to change it too much. So I think we're going to go down to that just to kind of save wear and tear on the wheel. Uh, with the bigger rim, when you do throw it, it throws pretty hard sometimes, so like you don't want it to like hit that physical, the actual Logitech's physical stop, because it makes a loud click, and it's just, you know, I feel like it could like keep spinning, and you know, like those creepy horror movies where the doll's head keeps spinning around in circles so uh we do have steering linearity at 55 force feedback understeer at 100 force feedback minimum force we have down at 95 the wheel dampening scale is where it gets pretty uh pretty important i have it set to eight um now that is as it says the resistance of movement of your steering wheel now the reason i have it is eight is it makes the wheel pretty resistant but it also makes it when you start sliding or drifting, it'll count. It counters like a real car would. So it kind of gives it that more realistic feel. And even though the the you know you'd think it wouldn't feel very stiff because of the feedback being at 100, it still has a very stiff and really good feel. So these are the settings that I run. Um, you can modify your wheel dampening stiffness if you want. You know, I was running it at 10 before, and now I'm at 8. Then I was running at 15. Like, I guess you could fine-tune that to how you want it specifically. These are my wheel settings and how I use my settings. Um, we're going to do the 870, give it a shot, and if maybe not, we'll go back to 900. But like I said, I'm using that for a little bit of dampener before the physical stop of the Logitech wheel. Um, so those are my settings. I don't think I saved that. Oops. Get wrecked. Or get shrekt, as one of my uh, followers said. Get shrekt. So, that's the settings we use. So now we are going to head into the specialty dealership and do what we are here to do today. We are going to buy a car from the specialty dealership. What do we got? We have a 1986 BMW M635 or M635. 635. CSI. Now this is an older BMW two-door. Uh, this might be really cool because if you remember a prior episode with that BMW race car and the way that sounded, I'm wondering if we could put that same motor in here. And then we got the uh, 
CRX Mugen 1984 Honda. Uh, I don't think we're going to be using that to build the drift car. I don't think you can make it rear-wheel drive. But I do know a YouTuber that will definitely be geeking on this car if uh, he has not already picked it up. If you guys know who I'm talking about, throw it down in the comment section down below. See who, if you guys know who I'm talking about who geeks over CRXs. It's got some stuff on the hood. Is that a kill switch and stuff? Oh, wow. That's pretty cool, though. All right. And then we have the 2012 Mercedes C63 AMG Coupe Black Series, 195K, 35K, or 235,000 for this BMW. But the BMW does go 407 on the collector score. And we do need to increase our collector score. And I do got some money. So I think we're going to go with the BMW. Yep, buy the BMW. Thank you. Increase my collector score. I don't think it's going to give me a uh, bump up to the next level. I need to get more cars. I need to start doing some more races to get more money. Car limit reached. What? Oh, you can only buy one of them? Well, that's depressing. All right. So let's go into... Oh, we already have it. So we're going to go into the garage. Take a quick look at this car. Can we blow it open? We can. I do love the reverse hood of the bmw's uh, i just want a view car thank you can we blow it open come on let me blow open the hood no why won't you let me open you sad there it goes now can we view car with it being open i want to see the motor it won't let me open the hood kind of sad so anyways, we're going to build this car. It's got some wide tires in the back, just like that other BMW did. But this one we can probably do stock tires on. So that's the goal. That's the plan. We are in production run 227,552, 10, 12, 2017. I like how it shows when you buy the specialty cars where and when you got them. So now let's go see what we can do to this car. Go into the upgrade shop. Uh, no, let's see what motors in it Factory, I'm not sure exactly what's in there, but we got a 2.6 liter in line 6 3.2 in line 6 and a v8 I think we're gonna leave the factory motor in there because I'm almost 100% sure that that thing will sound amazing We can turbo it if we want. We're gonna keep it naturally aspirated to start. I believe we only have Forza Dynamics We take off the wing. We're gonna leave a little duck bill on there so what do we got running for tires? We are running stock tires. Um, we're going to keep it on the stock. We may switch to streets. What are we running for thickness? 245s in the front. 245s in the rear. I feel like that's wider than 245s. All right. If not, maybe 245s. Uh, I do like the meshies. But I think we're going to try and find a... We're going to... Uh... Are we going to leave the meshies on there? Or just do some flats? Watanabes. See, I don't want to change the wheels on this. I kind of got to keep it meshies. So I think we're going to keep the meshies. Unless we can find some BBSs in here. I think there is a set of... There they are, the BBS wires. Uh, not a fan. We're going to keep the stock meshies on there. I think we're going to keep the factory size. So now we got to go and do all the other drift goodies. Clutches. Necessary. Trans. Sure. Drive shaft. Why not? Save some weight. And a diff. Of course, we need that. So we're going to add all that. Then we're going to get... We're going to bump up the brakes. I feel like those are not going to fit in the wheels. And we're going to throw... Uh, yeah, we'll throw race suspension on there. Throw some sway bars in there. We're going to pretty much fully do this suspension component-wise and such. It already had a partial cage. All right, well, we're going to throw a full cage in there. This car's got to have a cage. Lighten that thing up. 2,800 pounds. That thing's not that heavy. You would think. So. 
What are we rocking for power right now? We're rocking 323. Yeah, we're going to bump that up. 333. And take manifold 340. 350. A little bit of coils. Throw on the exhaust. 360. Uh, we may end up maxing this motor out. 430. Uh, I don't really want to go too, too high, so we, but we may max the stock motor out. About 500 is a good, uh, good basic. Yep, I think we're going to get pretty close to 500. 483. So 483 horsepower on the stock motor. Fully built. Let's get into the tuning of this thing and, uh, and take it to the track and see how she slides. So we got stock tires on, so we're going to drop the tire to, I believe, that for now. We're going to see how this goes. Leave the gear ratio so we actually get on the track. Uh, we're going to throw two degrees of camber. We're going to leave that five. We're going to throw this at one to start, two. We're going to throw the caster up to six, five. Uh, we're definitely going to want to soften. No. You know what? We'll leave the sway bars. We're definitely going to soften this up. Make it nice and uh, bouncy, I guess you could say. And we're going to drop it as far as we can. See if we can't get that sweet BMW stance life. Hashtag stash nation. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. Brakes. Tandem style brakes. We're going to throw this up to 95 and throw this up to 70. Ah, we'll go with 70 for right now. So that's our basic throwdown tune. Oof. That, uh, that did kind of lower it a little bit. Looks good, though. All right. So now let's head to a track and see how she slides. We're probably going to have to modify the setting a little bit. I don't think I got it. Perfect on one try. Uh, where do we want to go? I'm drifting Hockenheim a lot. Rance Hatch, Dubai, Lime Rock, Eagle Valley. Uh, Magello, Prague, Rio. We haven't been at Rio. Glen. There's not many good places to throw down a good tuning run. So we're going to go to Maple Valley. We're going to drift it at Maple Valley. And uh, we're going to see how she slides stock. So I'll see you guys once we load in. Maple Valley in our M635 fully built. Let's uh, we're gonna drift it in third person. We'll probably throw it in first person as well. What does this car sound like? Please tell me it sounds like the other BMW. Okay. This thing sounds mean. Oh, this thing sounds definitely mean. All right. There we go. First turn. If it would have went in the gear, it would have been good. Um, that, that, that quick basic tune may have been the right, ah, the right tune. I did forget to mention I am on normal steering, not simulation. If you guys want to see sim steering, uh, something I'm going to be dabbling in here probably soon. Let me know down in the comments section if you guys want to see maybe an episode on full sim steering. Yep, this car gave us a little fine tuning. Or not, because this car's pretty good as it is. We may have to change the camera a little bit. We change our toe a little bit. Definitely gonna probably change our gear ratio. Or tires. I think I think the tires are a little bit too 
low on the tire pressure. So we're going to finish this lap off with this right now. She definitely slides, though. And it's got the angle to hold itself. I was worried that being an older car, if it wasn't going to have the angle, but... Definitely has the angle. It's a boat, though. No, no joke, it is a pretty big girl. But, it's manageable. Ooh, sorry. Ooh. There we go. Alright, so... We're going to make some modifications to the tuning. And we're going to come back into it and uh, switch up into first person here. See how she slides. Alright, tuning. Tune the pressures. I think I'm going to bump these up to 30 and 28. And I think we're going to leave that all there. But I think we're going to increase the camber a little bit. Get a little more slide. Drop this down a little bit. And we're going to go with that. So. This car. Uh, it's that sleeper old man drift car. I can get down with this car. I like it's two door. Small little M6. No. 635. And uh, we're definitely going to throw it in here. Okay. Shifter doesn't want to. That sounded weird. This thing revs so high, too. Throw it in. Yep, I think those changes actually helped. This thing just revs and revs for days. Like, where's the red line? Ah! I didn't grab the handbrake enough there, but... Clutch kick. Just wanted to see if it had that red line bang like that other car. Not really. Let's see if we can do this. I probably held that e-brake a little too long. There we go. That was nice. Wow, this car though. So if you have the money and you want to build this car, I would suggest doing it. This thing slides so nice. There we go. Feather it over that hill. Oh, little grip up there. Should have stayed on the throttle a little longer. It's got wide tires, so even though it's on stock stock tires, it uh it has a good amount of grip to it also. Because they're so wide. Uh switch to the other first person view. Oh man. Don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. Ooh. Let's see that fire race suit. Alright, let's see if we can't get this turn. We're gonna be in fourth. Enter that in. From the third. All the way out there. Yup. I think I found a new fun drift car to have in your arsenal. If you have the money to get it. I'd recommend getting it and throwing the tune on here. I'm curious what this thing would do if we threw a turbo on it. Um, it might be scary, but we're probably going to do it. I mean, look at that. Oh. Don't look at that. That was bad.
I mean, this thing just, it slides. Hands down, 10 out of 10. IGN, we'd buy this. I'd recommend buying this and giving yourself a little bit of a fun drift car. Ooh, when did I tap my tail light? Oh, I know when, because I hit the wall. I feel like I do better in first person. So, I want to throw a turbo on this thing and see, but I'm scared to, because it handles nice. But I feel like we got the suspension set right, so I feel like throwing a turbo on there real quick will not cause that much of an issue. This thing slides. So, a successful uh, special dealer drift build. So, uh, I would recommend going to pick this thing up before it disappears. Inspiration. Throw a turbo on there. Puts us to 511. So, it kind of puts me where I wanted to be for power. Now, let's see what type of power it would be if we threw the intercooler on. Got to keep this thing cold. 540. What happens if we threw the big turbo on? 589. Not bad. We're going to throw it on there. It's probably going to be too much power. We may have to adjust the tire pressures, but let's find out. So just under 600 horse. Turboed. M635. Oh! That blow-off valve. It's that little chirpy. Oh boy. If anything, it's going to sound sick. Go. So not overpowering with the turbo. We could probably adjust the tire pressures a little bit to help grip it up a little bit with this power. But that little flutter sounds cool. Although I did kind of like it without the turbo. Hmm. We may take the turbo off. There we go. Nice hard throw. A little clutch kick. Okay, maybe we'll leave the turbo on for right now. We'll just adjust the tire pressures. Don't lose that. All right. We're going to quickly adjust tire pressures, get another lap in here before we end this episode off. If you guys like what you see and want to see more, don't forget to comment down below. Subscribe and like if you will do choose so. I would appreciate the support. As always, you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. 28 and 26 for the turboed version. 30 and 28 for the non-turbo version. Let's uh let's let's throw a good lap here to end this episode off. Ooh. Let's do it. This thing just revs. Alright. Throw it in. Threw it in too much. I wanted a good lap to end this episode off, but we still got a chance. A little clutch kick in third. Alright, so that tire pressure change was was money for this turbo. Yep. So if you're running a non-turboed version, 30 and 28. If you're running a turboed version, full turboed stock motor, uh, 28 and 26. Seems to be the, uh, well, my, uh, my money setup. Maybe a little different for you. Just tap. Oh, I thought we were just going to tap it. It's a little more than just a tap. But like I said, this is my setup. My tune. Maybe it'll be a little different for you. But this thing does handle pretty awesome. Let's try a little flick entry. Go. Oh. 
Yep. We're good. So like I said, guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. I'm going to keep sliding this car out because this is a blast. So until next time, guys, like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, <laughs> and I'm out.